This itself casts a doubt on the authenticity of the documents and <clears throat> holding of any such meeting of either Rashtriya Karyakarani or Pratinidhi Sabha. The petitioner himself is not sure whether it was Rashtriya Karyakarani or Pratinidhi Sabha. Thus, in view of the above said documents, uh, thus in view of the above, the said documents cannot be permitted to be relied on. Petitioner suggests that a look into how the Shiv Sena settled conflict or decisions within the leadership structure in the past might shed some light into this. However, in the present matter, no such material are placed before me to even suggest such instances which happened in the past where the majority decision within the leadership structure is taken as the will of the political party. It is to, it is to be also noted <coughs> that the petitioner has neither placed nor provided any material to show that historically the decision of the majority within the leadership structure is taken to be the final decision of the political party whenever there was a conflict of decision within the leadership structure. Thus, for, the reason, for this reason also, it would not be appropriate and correct to accept the proposition that the decision of the majority leaders within the leadership structure would have to be accepted as one which conveys the will of the political party. As, the <clears throat> as a passing note, I must also add that the majority rule possibly could have been applied in a normal situation where there is dissent in respect to some policy and or administrative decision of the party. However, such a simple rule stroke test shall not be applied to determine an essential question in <coughs> exist existential question in relation to the political party, such as in the present matter, where which faction is the real political party is required to be determined. Thus, in view of the decisions recorded here and above, I am not inclined to accept submissions of the UBT faction that will of the majority leaders in the 2018 leadership structure is synonymous with the will of the political party. Thus, from paragraph 112 to 128, I have dealt with whether the relevant leadership structure read with the Shiv Sena constitution, SS constitution, provides answer to the question, which faction is the real political party? In view of the same, I record my conclusion and finding thereon as under. The 2018 leadership structure is not at all in conformity with the constitution of Shiv Sena and thus does not provide a reliable outcome and or answer to the question which faction is the real political party and hence cannot be relied upon to determine the preliminary issue. Decision of the Paksha Pramukh is not synonymous with the will of the political party and thus if there is a rift in the leadership structure the decision of the Paksha Pramukh cannot be taken as the will of the political party. <coughs> when there is a vertical rift in the horizontal leadership hierarchy of the political party and both the factions within the said leadership structure emerged as a result, claim to represent the will of the political party, it would not be appropriate to apply the test of which of the said faction decision carries the will and wish of the political party. In the case of Shiv Sena political party, will of the majority leaders in the 2018 leadership structure cannot be said to be synonymous with the will of the political party. In view of the findings recorded in the preceding paragraph, I hold that the 2018 leadership structure read with the SS constitution does not provide any reliable answer to the constitution <coughs> does not provide any reliable answer to the question which faction is the real political party and consequently the 2018 leadership structure cannot be yardstick to determine which faction is the real political party. With regards to the legislative majority, I am not going to spend much time because that question is rather clear.
in view of the above observations and findings, I hold as follows. Which faction is the real political party is discernible from legislative majority which existed when the rival factions emerged. Legislative majority which existed when the rival factions emerged can be discerned and or inferred from one, the Shinde faction resolution dated 21st June 2022 and 23rd June 2022 available on record of the legislature secretariat and the admitted position which can be inferred from the initiation of petitions against 38 legislators of Shinde faction by the UBT faction. Shinde faction had an overwhelming majority of 37 out of 55 MLAs with the rival fact when the rival faction emerged. From my analysis, observations, conclusions and findings recorded in paragraph 82 to 144 year and above, I hold that Shinde faction was the real Shiv Sena political party when rival factions emerged on 21st June 2022. In view of my findings that the Shinde faction was the real political party when the rival faction emerged and that Sri Sunil Prabhu ceased to be the duly authorized whip from 21st June 2022, I further conclude that Sri Bharat Gogaule was validly appointed as the whip as that was the reflection 